Hey everyone, Technoman here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone wireless charging not working after iOS update. You want to follow these steps, so let's get started. The very first thing you want to troubleshoot is the actual wireless charger. I recommend is pulling the plug from the actual outlet and go ahead and try a different outlet. Sometimes it could be the actual wireless charger that you want to troubleshoot. Now, after you have done that, unplugged, keep it unplugged and you want to follow these steps is that if you have a case on, I recommend removing the case. And the reason why is sometimes the case can interfere with the wireless charging on the back. So you want to remove that. Along with that is you want to go ahead and clean the back here. You're going to ensure that there is no uh, liquid, any kind of oil or dust or anything basically blocking that back port over here. That will cause the connection not to work correctly. So you're going to wipe that down, uh, especially again, if it is dirty. Now, along with that is making sure your phone is at ideal temperature. What we mean by ideal temperature is that the phone, if it's too cold or too hot, wireless charging and even regular charging might not work correctly. So you want to make sure the phone is at ideal temperature. So if it's very cold, you want to make sure phone, phone warms up before you charge it. If it's uh, gets too hot, cool it down before you do charge it. Another thing is if you have any accessories connected using maybe the USB-C or the lightning to a computer or CarPlay or any other devices, you want to unplug everything on your device so it doesn't cause that to be an issue. So after you have done all of this, uh, you're going to go ahead and follow this step here. You're going to go ahead and quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I do volume up, volume down quickly, and then I press and hold on to this side button here. I'm going to wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. At that time, I will let go of that side button just like that. So I'm gonna wait for the Apple logo and let go. And this method, again, is known as a force restart, sh which shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. This method will not delete any of your data. So all of your data, like photos, videos, apps, will still be on your phone. You do not have to worry about any of that. And once you're back on, it should be working for you. Now, if it's still uh, not working, the next thing to do is go ahead and press and hold, or basically pull down the control menu here to click on this option right here, right, to power down. If you tap and hold, it'll go slide to power off. You can press and hold the volume up and the side button to go ahead and power off the phone. Now, once you power off your phone, instead of turning it back on, reconnect your wireless charger to an outlet and then place your phone there. And what will happen is if it's working, it will go ahead and turn the phone on and it will create a connection to the phone here. It's a method that will work to kind of help it reconnect to your wireless charger. So hopefully that is working for you. And if that doesn't work, just manually turn it on and it'll move on to the next troubleshooting step for it. Again, the next troubleshooting step is actually going to your setting and then going to general and then software update and check if there's an update available for you. The reason why it is a previous update might have caused the wireless charging to not work and Apple regularly uh, updates their phone to address any issues. So go ahead and update your phone as well. And of course, if you're still having an issue and it's still not working, it's time to try a different wireless charger altogether to make sure that it's not the wireless charger that may be uh, defective or broken and that's why it's not working. So try a different uh, wireless uh, charger and if it works, as you know, that you will have to go ahead and replace your wireless charger. So I hope after following all these steps, your iPhone wireless charging is working. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.